This is what AWS send you after you complete the CWI exam. And my student did pass and he's very happy. But he took it on April the 13th and three weeks later, he got his results via email. So this is the information that they send you. And they let you know that you have a, got to have a passing score of 72 on each exam, at least a 72. And your overall average has to be over a 72. So if you make a 60 on one and a 60 on the other one, and you make a, I'll say a 74, and you average those up together, it do not equal 72, which is below 72, so you will have to take all three over again. But he did pass the exam, so congratulations to James. And if you go to part, right here it shows you part A. So it tells you how many questions you got correct on each section. And you notice that the welding process and also the uh, definition and terms have the most questions. And it's easy to figure out the score. So we know that it's 150 questions on the part A. And each answer counts 0.67 each. So if you calculate this up and you see how many he got correct, he got 122. So he made at least a 80 on this part A. So then you got your part B. It gives you the results here. And you notice that the, most of the questions asked on part B is welding, inspections, and flaws. And if you would like to know exactly how many questions is asked on each section, you can go on to AWS website and, it, and they would give you a percentage of questions asked in each section. And this is the part C. So this is what you would get after three weeks of waiting. So if this video helped, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.